Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of the AC Hotel by Marriott in Melbourne, Australia at the South Bank. This is a premium room. It is one level above the standard room. I have gotten some requests to make sure to note what type of room it is, and it's a very good request. So here you have it. It's the premium room. I'm very impressed with this room, and I'm going to show you why. Number one, it is very, very spacious. It is very boxy. The setup is very boxy, as you can see, and it feels very spacious. You have space to walk around. You have a table here with one chair to sit on. Here is your dining menu. The menu has many Spanish Mediterranean options. That's likely because AC Hotels was originally a Spanish brand. So they're probably trying to keep that theme throughout the hotel. And this particular room has a great view of the city. If you do have a room on the opposite side of the building, you don't have the same city view. This has a king size bed as well as a couch here to sit on. The couch is also very wide as you can see, so it can easily fit two or three people in there. Coming over to the bed, uh, everything is just brand new and this is being filmed in 2024. The property opened less than two years ago in April 2022, so everything still feels absolutely brand new very high quality curtains here with the blackout shades as well as the sheer shades you have extra plugs very conveniently located by the wall uh, as well as usb outlets and extra lights here that control other aspects of the lighting in the room here's your phone very cozy pillows there and then moving to this section we're gonna then look at the closet and the bathroom so uh, nowadays, hotels are doing this and it's becoming very popular where instead of building a closet, they're just installing a piece of furniture that serves the function of the closet. So in this case, this is a piece of furniture that can have the space for your clothes at the top with your hangers. They do provide laundry service here. They have the space down below for your luggage. So that functions as your luggage rack. There's extra shelving up here. If you open this little uh, door, you have your iron, your ironing board. In this case, there's also two sets of slippers below. Then here you have your refrigerator. It is not a fully stocked refrigerator uh, um, safe. And then your coffee and tea station. I do like that they have a separate tea kettle, complimentary water, multiple types of cups. And then if you open here, you have your, again, your coffee, your decaffeinated coffee, and then multiple types of tea, which is, which is nice. They have the regular type with caffeine as well as other types like peppermint without caffeine. So very nice setup here. The bathroom is interesting because it is, when you look at it, it feels big. And I, I don't mind that setup when you're trying to make a bathroom feel big. And what I mean by that is this open setup where it's just open to the room. I do know people sometimes don't like that. And I personally do not like it either if you're standing at a more luxurious property and you do want more of a separation between the room and the bathroom you don't want people walking in or even even the people that you're traveling with to just see your your mess by the sink uh, so i do like the separation of room and bathroom but for a casual business type hotel like this it's no big deal it does make the bathroom feel bigger and more spacious so Walking into the bathroom area, you have your sink that's exposed out to the outdoors. You have your mirror right there. You have a vanity mirror right here. Extra amenity kits over here, which is very, I mean, it's very stock. I mean, there's a sanitary bag for the ladies, two dental kits, sewing kits, shaving setup, uh, toothpaste. So it's very fully, fully stocked. There's your soap, only two towels down below, a hair dryer and some tissue paper there. And then coming over to this section, you have uh, a robe here. There was also a robe above the uh, closet area. And then this is your, your shower room. It is, it feels very tiny and a little bit claustrophobic, but it's comfortable and it's brand new. It looks, I mean, everything looks like no one has even stepped into this room in the last two years. Uh, the shower has a rain shower head, which is super nice, as well as the handheld shower head. And just keep in mind that the, there is no shower door, so there's this half half shower door, very European-like. So when you do take a shower, you're likely gonna be making a mess, 
but this is this setup is separate from here so it's not like you're making a mess in the room uh, i don't know why they do that i think maybe to save some space also maybe save on costs when they're building these types of hotels but uh, i i usually prefer a full shower door to, to not to avoid making a splash and a mess and then that covers the room. I'm very impressed. If you're traveling for business, it's a very, very good setup. If you're traveling for leisure, the location is a little bit off the beaten path. Not too bad. But as you can see, the main part of town is across the highway here. This is on this side of the highway. Um, most of the hotels are on that side of the highway uh, located in Melbourne. So just keep that in mind. But it's not that far away. It's a short Uber ride or taxi ride. Or if you're trying to be on this side of the highway for whatever reason, it's also a good setup. Okay, enjoy. Hope you enjoy your travels.